Procurement and Contracting Committee meeting for Wednesday, March the 21st, 2018. Should we call the order? Could I have the uh, roll call, please? I'm calling the roll, Mr. Tuma? Here. Mr. Miller? Here. Ms. Conwell? Here. Mr. Schron? Mr. Schron is absent. Ms. Baker? Here. There is a quorum. Okay. And if I could, um, I'm sorry, is there any public comment related to the agenda this morning? Uh, no, Mr. Chair, no one is signed in. All righty. And if I could have approval of minutes from the March 7, 2018 meeting. I so move. Second. Okay, so we have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed nay, the ayes have it. And uh, Madam Clerk, if you could read the uh, first matter referred to committee this morning. Resolution number 2018-0057, making an award on requisition number 41220 to W.B. Mason Company in the amount not to exceed $1,317,677.40 for furnishing and delivering paper to various county departments and agencies for the period 5-1-2018 before 30 2021 Okay, and if you could state your name for the record. Sure, Mike Chambers, Public Works. Okay, and Mr. Chambers, um, I know we talked a little bit about W.B. Mason, so if you could just explain this uh, sure. um, resolution. Sure, this, this, this whole thing, this, this is for our copy paper, for all of our um, copy machines. Uh, any specialty paper would come through our print shop, would not be part of this. Basically, we're talking the 8.5 by 11, 8.5 by 14, and 11 by 17 paper. Um, we are making a change to um, the amount to $1 million. Zero seven five, so one million seventy-five thousand dollars. We're, we're decreasing it. Um, the reason we're doing that, and we're asking for your uh, permission to do that, is the bids came in substantially lower than we uh, uh, had originally budgeted. And when we put the paperwork together here, we went with our budget amount and not with our revised, uh, you know, lower uh, pricing. So the old contract, for example, the eight and a half by eleven for uh, a case of that was thirty-four dollars. Now it's only 26, 24. Uh, case of the 11 by 17 was 38. Now it's only 28, 24. So there was substantial uh, decrease in amount, which is why we uh, are lowering our award amount. Okay. Uh, so then our W. Mason was the obviously the lowest, yes, and best bidder here. Correct. So, and then you wanted you said you wanted to amend this to lower that dollar amount to one million seven seventy five thousand. Correct. Please. Okay. All right. Uh, Mr. Miller? Yes. Uh, how many reams are in a case? <laughs> I think that varies. I think for the 8.5 by 11, I think it's 10. And then the um, 11 by 17, I think, is 8. I'll mm -hmm. have to get that for you. Mm -hmm. I apologize. Yeah. So, But that's pretty cheap. It's huge savings. It's a big difference. Um, as you know, W.B. Mason is also our office supplier. So I think you know, distribution is probably a big part of that. But also the uh, paper uh, mill that I think they're using in Pennsylvania, um, they have a nice deal with them, so they were able hmm. to come in lower. And uh, was this bid out on a, on a standard RFP, or, or was this uh, was this done by a reverse auction? No, no, this was a standard bid uh, which closed January second. There was twelve bi bids pulled. You know, three were submitted, and obviously we're going with the lowest yeah. and best here which happened to be the lowest. Okay. Thank okay. You. Uh, any other questions? Okay. Uh, Ms. Baker and then Ms. Conwell. Uh, I'm not sure I heard. Did you say that this does not, what, what doesn't this apply? This, um, this is all for the copiers. So basically the, the anything goes to the copiers, but however, you can get colored paper to go through the copiers, which is different. It's outside of this. So this is just a standard copy paper. And this Which includes is, all the printing in the print in the uh, print shop. Like if we send out uh, notices for appraisals or no, because then that becomes specialty paper, depending upon the millage and things like that. So I would say that the you know the ninety ten rule is everything in the, the copy machines in all of our buildings is what we're talking about. Anything specialty, okay. if he can use some of this stuff for those print jobs, he will. But anything requiring different colors, things like that, is outside of this. Okay, so ninety percent of it. Is what we're using. It might even be 95, but yeah, I, I would feel comfortable with that. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, uh, Ms. Conwell. Uh, through the chair, <clears throat> just um, I apologize. I know you mentioned what is the savings again? That was my question. Uh, it's about uh, I think it was 23 percent cheaper. Each one was a little bit different, um, but it was substantially uh, lower. Uh, 
which is why we went with the 1,075,000. Um, each case had a little bit different. Uh, the eight and a half by 14 was like $16, you know, a difference in case. Um, so it was approximately 23% total. Okay, so what was, what was the original dollar amount? Uh, my original dollar amount of this contract was 1,317,677.4, and I'm changing it to 1,075,000 even. Okay. That is a good savings. Thank you. Yeah. Like 80000 a year, 81 and, uh, and this is for a year, correct? Uh, no, or, this no, is it's for 2021, <clears throat> and this covers all of our paper needs yes. all over the county. Okay. Okay. Uh, what type of um, uh, time frame are you talking on Maybe trying to get this contract done? Could this have the full three readings? I see it's May. Mm -hmm. It does say May, um, and obviously we can, we'll stick to that. But if we get her done beforehand, obviously we can take advantage of hopefully some of the savings. But so they would they would start earlier. I would have to or? confirm that um, whatever the date of the contract we signed, uh, I think we can go into force. So I would I would err on the side if we could get it through a little quicker. That would be great, and I'll confirm that in the interim. Okay. Um, Mr. Chair. Mr. Miller. Uh, move to amend to change 1,317,677.4 to 1,075,000. Okay. I, I second that amendment. Um, and uh, as far as uh, second reading, um, suspension, does anybody have any objection to moving this through it so we can try to see if we can get those savings? Mm -hmm. Anybody? Okay. So I'll make a motion for second reading suspension as amended. First, we should vote on the amendment. Oh, I'm sorry. We didn't. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, uh, all those in favor of the amendment to 1075000 uh, say aye. 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 And opposed, against. Okay, the ayes have it. Um, and now I'll make that motion for uh, second reading suspension. Um, could I have a second? Second. As I have a motion and a second for second reading suspension. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Uh, ayes have it. Okay, we appreciate that, Thank you. and we'll see, see if we could get that savings Absolutely. sooner. I'll that'd look be great. Into that real quick. Yeah. Okay, right. appreciate that. Sure. Resolution number two thousand eighteen zero zero five eight, making an award on requisition number four one six two six to Global Outdoor Solutions, doing business as Fortunus Group, in the amount not to exceed one million thirty three thousand two hundred thirty five dollars for the bridge box beam replacement program, part one in various municipalities. Okay, if you could state your name for the record. Nicole English with Public Works. So this is an award for construction contract. The estimate was 1.5 million. The best and lowest bidder came in at just over 1 million. And it's for two bridges, um, Abbey Road Bridge in North Royalton and Harris Road Bridge in Broadview Heights. These are replacing the box beams, which um, hold up the bridge. And um, as like all construction, we'd like to get it under going as quick as we can. So. When we're finished, we'd ask for second reading adoption if possible. Okay, and uh, again, this is, you said Abbey Road Bridge and Har Harris Bridge? Hey, yeah, Harris Road okay. Bridge. Um, and uh, lowest and best bidder it was? Yes. Okay. Um, any questions of my colleagues here? Ms. Conwell? Um, to the chair, to Nicole, uh, when were the bridge boxes uh, last replaced? And how, you know, how, what did I it rate? I don't have the exact um, year on me. I could get that to you. But these are condition-based, so they've come rise to the top of our list, and they okay. were under a condition that we needed. To, they fell under a five general appraisal, so okay. then we decide we need to do something about them. So there's, there's actually three box beam projects that had been identified. Um, the third one's lagging a bit, so we decided to sell the first two to get them done this year. You'll see a third one come forward uh, later this year. So when you talk about the bridge box, is it the actual metal stuff that goes around that pillar, or is it that cement? A thing? beam that goes underneath the road surface. So it's what's holding up the road surface oh, would be oh. the beams. And so it's a box-shaped beam. Okay. And so that's what we're going to replace. So it doesn't need to do the whole bridge. It's just the beams holding it up. So how do they access that? Is it open? They, you know, I don't know exactly the construction, if they pull it off and then replace it, or if they go underneath, I'd have to check with the engineer, but um, it's all included in the plans. Thank you. Uh, what is the anticipated start date? So the start date would be as soon as we get it approved and get a notice to proceed, um, which should coincide with spring, although there's snow on the ground today. But uh, <laughs> there we're is. hoping sooner than later. Okay. Um, and it would be done um, this, this season. Okay, Mr. Miller, and then Ms. Baker. Uh, is there MBEFB participation on this contract? 
there is a 15% SBE goal, and they met that. Okay, Ms. Baker? Uh, given that as soon as this is approved, you're going to go out for, for immediate um, repair, is there any um, reason of being um, concerned that this bridge could not withstand until you're ready to uh, address no. it? No, I mean, it's, it's not in a shape that it would have any safety concern up to this point. Okay, no, that's a good question. I wondered that myself. So, um, okay, uh, any other questions from members of the committee? Ms. Ms. Conwell? Uh, off the topic a little bit, um, do we have any future uh, bridge box One projects more. coming up? Because um, there was three identified last year and they started working on them. Two were a little easier to get done. The third one's lagging, so we decided to sell these two. You'll see another one come back, I think, later this year. So we'll bid that separately. Is there a reason that they couldn't have all been bidded together? The, the third one just was taking longer to design. It was a little more complicated, and so they figured to get them done this year. Let's make sure these two can get done this season, so we sold these two together. Where's the, other where's the third one at? Excuse me, I'm sorry. Abby Harris, and I'll have to get that back to you. Okay. I'm trying to think which I one just, we yeah, I was just curious. Just okay. Sitting out there. Okay. Mr. Miller? I'll make a motion to refer Resolution 2018-0058 to the full council with recommendation for second reading suspension. Okay, I'll second that. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed nay, ayes have it. Okay, uh, Madam Clerk, the next, uh, I'm sorry, absolutely. Um, and I know it's bridges in the past, sorry, that we've had. Are these county bridges? Correct. They are. Yes. So if there was a state bridge, we would have other complications. We in, wouldn't. In funding, but these are. Into it. Full the, county bridges. Correct. So they're on a county road. They're our responsibility. And so we are paying for them 100% county. Thank you for the Okay, thank you. Madam Clerk, the next resolution, please. Resolution number 2018-0059, making an award on requisition number 41842 to Terrace Construction Company and the amount not to exceed $1,792,814.14 for improvements to future Amazon site perimeter roads. <laughs> Nicole English again with Public Works. Um, we're making another construction award. This is on the perimeter roads for the first Amazon site, which is North Randall. Um, you might remember there's two projects that we're taking part in. Um, the other one is in Euclid. Uh, this one was estimated at 1.9 million. The bid came in a little bit uh, under 1.8 million. And we have 300,000. We're capped to the county at 300,000. The rest of the money is coming from the village, which really is coming through um, some state grants. Uh, but our agreement is with the village to pay the rest of the, the funds. And the anticipation is to get this project completed um, over the next couple months so that we will be ready when Amazon opens their site in August. Okay. Um, and uh, this terrace construction was the lowest and best bidder here? Yes, sorry. Okay. And I'll save uh, Mr. Miller's question that it would meet all requirements as far as... Yeah, there's 7% SBE, 17% MBE, and 6% WBE. Okay. All right. Any other questions from my colleagues? Ms. Conwell? Uh, to the <clears throat> Chair, to Nicole, this is the first time that we're dealing with this. So what are uh, the perimeter roads? So it covers about... Uh, with four different roads, so Warrensville Center, Emory, and Northfield, I guess three roads. So we're adding um, some turn lanes, getting into the site, uh, signal replacement to cover the turn movements. So instead of saying, you know, listing all the roads, we've called it the perimeter roads um, just to cover it all in one okay. sentence. Those are pretty big roads, too. Yeah, so they, there was a traffic study that was done by the developer of Amazon, which was accepted by ODOT in the village, and then they had come to us county and said, could you help? Um, we stepped in to help them. We gave them a little bit of funding for the roads, but then our, our main contribution is running the construction project. The village just didn't feel they had the capability to do that, um, and we're able to use our money to, f to front the project, and then they reimburse us, which, again, the village didn't have the $1.8 to to front themselves. So this sort of worked out for everybody involved, um, and we'll manage the project. And part of the the part of our three hundred thousand is our construction management. So will the roads be done before the project starts or after? The project itself. I mean, they're out there working. They're going to be ready okay. to open in August. I don't live out there. So. Yeah, <laughs> if you drive by, boy, they took that down quick. Okay. Um, <laughs> but the idea is that our project would be done before they actually start operating. So that okay. when the trucks start rolling in, 
we're already set with the roads. So that is in where the old mall was, mm -hmm. correct? correct. Yep. We're not doing any of that pavement inside. No. So we stop at bad. the right-of-way lines. Um, and that was real clear early on with the developer. So we've been coordinating our designer with the developer's designer to say, okay, we stop here at the right-of-way line. You have to take the driveway back into your site. So we can only spend our money in the public right-of-way. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Miller? My question is as to why this contract had, had a goal for SBE, MBE, and WBE while the previous contract had a goal only for SBE. I'll let Lenora speak. Lenora Lockett, Office of Procurement and Diversity. The previous project was a specialized bridge project, so there's less um, smaller vendors that have that expertise and less work to subcontract. So in that case, we just did some kind of subcontract, subcontracting goal based on our overall SBE program. This project has, while it is a perimeter project for perimeter roads, these are larger roads, standard roads that the construction road and bridge industry, there's a lot of primes and subcontractors of all um, categories, SBE, WBs, that could provide subcontracting work. Okay, thank you. Okay, all right. Uh, Ms. Conwell has another question. Uh, through the chair to Nicole. So this project was new. We didn't know it was going to come. And so now it's here. So the, for the site perimeter roads, is it in, what roads exactly will it impact or what projects did it put behind that was on our schedules already since, or, or did it? Well, we did present welfare and convenience on this um, late last year. So we, we did present it at that time and it didn't, it's 300,000. We took that out of um, the current operations, which we have um, two million a year, which would go up to three million and nineteen. So it it didn't really take away another project. I mean, this is a fairly small amount. It was a, de a decision that was made among multiple groups in the county. You know, development had come to us because they were working trying to get this Amazon, and so we saw how we could partner together with them, okay. and it seemed to be a good fit um, to help everybody uh, at the county. So while it is taking 300000 of our funds. It wasn't necessarily that we took it from another project. It's just that we took it out of the operations that we are going to be bringing forward pretty soon to you. So our portion is only 300000 Correct. Right. Thank you. Yeah, we kept both Amazon projects. Uh, Mr. That. Miller? Uh, we have limited time to get this done by August, so, uh, yes. so I'm going to... Move approval of resolution 2018-0059 with recommendation for second reading suspension. Okay, I'll second that. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Ayes have it. Thank you, Ms. English. Uh, Madam Clerk, next resolution, please. Resolution number 2018-0060, authorizing the county executive to accept dedication of land for Ethan Drive and Gates Village Subdivision Phase 1, located in Olmstead Township, as a public street. Okay, and if you could state your name for the record, Mr. Coyne. Good morning, Mr. Chair, Council Members. Glenn Coyne, Executive Director, County Planning Commission. Um, I'm back as I was last meeting with another um, final plat request um, that we were, we were in the process of approving. Um, this particular subdivision is phase one of Gates Village subdivision. It's in Olmstead Township, and it consists of 34 lots which is the first phase of a two-phase development, which will have a total of 64 lots when it's finished. Um, and what the specific request before council now is to accept the improvements, um, which is known as Ethan Drive, which is being built, uh, again, phase one, and then the, f the phase two will be built subsequently. But this is just to accept the improvements of the right-of-way of Ethan Drive in Gates Village subdivision. Um, I have one minor correction I've noticed on the resolution in the third, whereas our county planning commission meeting, we did not act on this on, May, on March 8th. We are acting on it on April 12th, our next meeting. So for that reason, we don't need to push this through for second reading. Um, we can go ahead with the full three readings. And my calculations are that would be April 10, and we'd still be fine for our final approval of planning on April 12th. So... Um, no need for the um, suspension of the rules. Okay. All right, thank you. Any questions from my colleagues on this? Yes. Mr. Miller? Uh, when we uh, 
accept this? Does does Ethan uh, Drive then become the county's responsibility for maintenance? Um, it's no, it's a town. It's a township's responsibility for maintenance of this road. But the county, because they're not an incorporated city, the county approves okay. and accepts on behalf of the, of the of the township the improvements. Okay. But they they okay. cover the maintenance. Okay. 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 Any other questions, uh, Miss Baker? Uh, just curious on the phase one with the thirty-four lots of the diagram in front of us. Mm -hmm. um, is phase two the Tuttle Road, and we'll be you'll be coming back for that street to be um, dedicated also? Uh, Councilman, no. Ethan Drive will be a loop. So where they where you see the two dead ends of Ethan yes. Drive, that will loop around and touch itself again. And those thirty lots will all be in that section on the south. Tuttle Drive, uh, Tuttle Road is in the adjoining subdivision and just shown for reference. Um, there is though, um, if you see. There is a, walk, a pedestrian walkway that will connect this subdivision to Tuttle Road and to the amenities of that subdivision, which they're sharing. So um, there's not vehicle connectivity, but there is pedestrian connectivity between the two, which, which we think is a good idea. But no, the, 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 the future road will connect those two stubs that you see there uh, on, the, on the map in front of you. I see that. That's, that is good. Okay. Um, just follow up. The, um, so the circle that will be phase two... Will that all be called Ethan Drive, and will that need another dedication, or will that just be part of the same? Uh, the answer to the first question, I believe it will be Ethan Drive, but I'm not particularly sure. But yes, it will require another. We will bring phase two in, and you will see that arrangement, and uh, we will ask for acceptance of that part of the road at that time. Thank you. I'm not, I just can't remember if it's the same name or if it's a different name over there. And okay. just, uh, yep. if I may... For, for clarification, um, I understand because it's a township, you need to um, take ownership of it being under the county, and then, but it's still their, their responsibility. But all county roads are the responsibilities of, of cities too, right? It doesn't, it's not just because it's a township. It would, if we were to, um, if this was a city and we were doing the same thing, we would still expect the city to maintain that road. Sort of. The city would approve their own subdivisions and accept their own improvements. Um, there are county roads that exist in, in municipalities I that see. we maintain. But when there's a new road in new subdivisions, the only time the county gets involved is in the so township. The township. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank yeah. you for that. Yeah. Okay. And frankly, Good this question. is the only township that we really... Uh, there is Chagrin Falls Township, but they have very little subdivision activities. So. Okay. Um, Mr. Miller, you have a question? Uh, I'm... Ready to make a motion. Okay. To, um, uh, yeah. I, I think we need to do an amendment first because of that date. Um, so if I could, uh, I'd like to amend resolution 2018-0060 uh, to move the date, I believe it was March 8th to April 12th. Um, if I could have a second. Second. So I have a motion and a second to amend the date. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed nay. The ayes have it. And Mr. Miller. Aye. Uh, I'll make a, re a motion to favorably recommend <coughs> resolution 2018-0060 to the full council as amended for second reading. Okay, and we have a motion to um, send this to full uh, council for second reading as amended. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Ayes have it. Excuse me, Mr. Chairman. I'm sorry. Who made the second? Oh, we didn't make a second there? Second. Okay, we have a second. So we have a motion. And a second to send this to full <laughs> council. Uh, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Ayes have it. Uh, thank you, Mr. Coyne. Right, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Are there any other, uh, is there any other miscellaneous business from the committee? Okay. And th are there any other public uh, comments? Anybody come no, on Mr. the snow Chair, today? No, Mr. <laughs> okay. And with that, could I have a motion to adjourn? I have a motion. Could I have a second? I have a motion and a second to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Ayes have it. And uh, uh, Public Works uh, Procurement Contracting Committee shall adjourn. <laughs>